Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello? Hey, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Gen V season 1 episode 2. It's cool guys to be there for a new episode of Gen V. I'm gonna watch just one today, but it's already great, it's already cool. Like I said, you know, after the first episode, I had the impression that I just went back, you know, into this universe, the boys universe, you know, that I'm watching and reacting to the boys since the beginning, since the season one, episode one, until the last season that we discovered together not so long ago. If you want to see my reactions and my thoughts about each episode into the chronological order, you can have all of my videos for it on the playlist that I made for this show and I made also right now you know a playlist for Gen V in case you know you've been watching maybe weeks after <laughs> me posting this video my reactions and my thoughts to Gen V it's gonna be the same you're gonna have the link for the playlist that I made for it the first episode was pretty great it was a good introduction to each of the characters and to the main narrative arc you know, the fact that we have students right there into this school, okay, but also that there is a secret with these woods. The fact that some of these children, you know, these teenagers, these young adults, I don't know their ages really, they are taken right there into the woods, maybe for some experiences. And not just maybe the problematic, I don't like this word, but you know, the, the ones with whom the system has issues, but in fact, everyone because we saw that golden boy was into it with his brother sam something like that sam that was a little boy who was calling for him into these dreams visions and he said also during that first episode that he lost his brother that he died so for me you know sam is his brother like something like that golden boy luke went into the woods he came back and after that he was golden boy and he was that close to be part of the seven so clearly it's not just teenagers young adults which are an issue for this society who are put right there into the woods so that's why i'm wondering really what are they doing to these kids into the woods but how can we discover that now now that golden boy killed himself. That was such a surprise for me at the end of the first episode that they would decide to kill a character that they presented into that same first episode as one of the main characters. Like really, for me, he was at the same level than, uh, yes, all of the other ones, like Marie, Emma, Andre, like, I had the impression that Golden Boy was one of the characters that we would follow during all of this season, all of this show, in fact. And with his position also as being that Golden Boy, that guy that everyone admires, really, like, boys like girls, everyone wants to be also, or wants to be with. For me, he had really the position of a character that we would keep so for him to kill himself during that moment, it was really sad. And even more after that hug that he made with Andre, that was such like an act of trust to, to make him an hug during that moment. That was awful to see him killing himself. And that was really unexpected for me because of how the character was written, but also because of the importance that he had for that main narrative arc being about the woods, because he was the only one who went into it and who went out of, of it and who is beginning to have memories about it. So, so why not keeping him? What are we gonna do now? I don't know. I really don't know. I already have a favorite character. It seems a little weird after just one episode, but Emma really made a good impression on me with the fact that she's fun, she's really 
cool with Marie, she really welcomed her with, you know, just being so nice and all and she is also clever in the sense that she has that social intelligence, that way to, to be with people which shows that she's clever and also the fact that we discovered that she's trying to to have friends but it's difficult for her, people are mocking her, disrespecting her, people are bullying her also online and guys are only interested by her for awful stuff to do with her power and also the fact that to have access to that power she has to make herself you know vomit it's awful you know it's such a humiliating gesture to make something really which is related to to bad health you know to mental health also issues so i'm really yes feeling sad for her feeling bad for her when in fact i already appreciate a lot her character so that's why i'm even more concerned by her character and what she's gonna become and maybe that's why i'm already attached to her character also like really emma you're my favorite already. <laughs> Mary, how she discovered her power. That was awful. She killed her parents. Her sister is still alive, but is considering her as a monster. I hope that at some point we're gonna have news about her. Maybe during this season one, it could be great. Mary, she, she needs to be careful with what she's doing and all because she doesn't want to go back to that place where she was. Uh, she knows that to be into that academy, it's really an opportunity for her. So that's why she did not want to commit any mistake. Is she going to get fired truly or not from this place? I'm wondering about it because she was fired by that place principal bad guy but golden boy killed him so maybe he never had you know the the time to fill the paper to fire Marie maybe it could be great actually also it seems that, that she's gonna be important into this show at least we're gonna see her at multiple occasions it's so cool I did not expect it and you know that I appreciate her character into the boys She's really bringing something fun, whether she wants it or not. And in fact, she's bringing also a normal vibe character in the sense that, okay, she's really an opportunist and she's a bad person. She did bad stuff and all. But because she has no power, she has a way to be, which is also interesting to, to see, to have into a show like that. She's a normal person, you know, into that hero organization and with all of the bad aspects of it she's doing bad stuff but still she knows that she's under all of them so that's why i always appreciated ashley for what she represents also into this show okay i'm gonna stop this intro right there let's go for this episode on my patreon if you want you can have my reactions and my thoughts for gen v earlier you have two episodes of advance Normally for Gen V, you have a longer reaction part with the level 2 or the full reaction part with the level 3. It's advantages that I'm giving you on my Patreon to thank you for your support right there on Patreon because the best way to support me is through Patreon. So to thank you for that, for the support, I'm giving you these advantages, full opacity for everything, two episodes of advance, a longer reaction part or full reaction part, level 2, level 3. Okay, let's go for this episode, guys! You're not trying to take these things with you? You're playing with his blood? Stop, Murray. Oh, that keeping some of it. Marie Murray was there too. How'd she do in the flashbulb? Good, people like her. Hello, Jordan Lee. 
They're the one who actually fought for the boy. Oh, a bi generation with pronoun fuckery. Great fucking idea. Kyle. He was the one. We think with Andre. I mean, they were well the one ready to fight. Andre Anderson will be rank right number one. Take the off speaker for a second, Gera. Is the woods part of what happened? Yes. It's under investigation. This is already a PR disaster. If the woods is exposed, we all have a big, potentially fatal problem. You know about well, them. 400 kids out there, well, I guess we'll go, but their parents dropped them with compound B. It's infants like that. Well, you had one tonight. Barely. I'm glad I heard. You okay? Okay. I wasn't totally sure what you were into, so I packed the bomb. No. <laughs> I am with you. You bet. Anybody. Should we do all of it? <laughs> I'm not sure, but you're a good friend enough. You're sweet. You're trying to help. But this is my fault. Getting swept up in all this shit. I promised myself I'd keep my head down. Work my ass off. No room for anything else. It's the first day tomorrow. Why are you pushing her away when she's just nice with you? Can I get a selfie? Uh, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my friend, Marie Moreau, she was a top 10. Damn, look at she. Top 10 what? She made top 10? There's notifications from them. Hey, it's cool. Holy fucking shit. And you're top one now? Okay. Clearly. Fucking number fucking five? Five? From number two to number five when they were the ones to fight really with Golden Boy. Oh, you really appreciated him. Did you know about the woods or not? Look at suspicions about it, I have the impression. E. Yep. Keep your picture. I'm sorry. Uh, I know what Rick meant to you. I don't know why Luke did it. Jordan, don't blame her. Uh... I said, what some guys will do just to get away from Kate. Cute. Do you like baseball? So well. Yeah. And swing that bat as hard as you can into your nuts. <laughs> the hour on the hour. And every time you swing, yell Jumanji. No. What about consent, you know, and not using your power for bad stuff? Yes, he's an asshole, but does he deserve to knock his nuts, you know, each time saying Jumanji each hour? Not sure. I love him too. Like a song. But did he give you anything? What do you mean? Okay, pressure on your shoulders. Probably. I don't say that enough, but I am. You're going to be a better polarity than I ever was. You're proud of him only for his power, for his rock. Everybody cannot wait to hear from you and Andre. You guys are heroes. So currently we're testing with the Guardians of the Dolkin. It's going to be big. It's a good one. Post 9 11 big. Okay, um, what about. Post 9 11 big? That's big! They already wrote our um, sales. Did Luke say something to you about my dad? What? He just said the words. I say it seemed dramatic as fuck. Because Luke uh, whispered something to me before he died. He said, uh, the dad has it. You're just gonna run off? Your friends are fucking close? Hey, let me get a shot. Oh, just, I don't know you. Or Luke. Who tried to kill me, remember? He's dead. There is no problem stepping over him to get to the top. That shit at the club? Brink was gonna expel me for it. Did you know that? 
course not. I don't have shit. I'm sorry your friend is dead. And I'm sorry Brink is dead. But leave me out of it. Oh, that's it. He had what you wanted. Sorry. Liam, you piece of shit. Let me guess. You made this poor girl get small because that's only where your prick looks big? Yes. Did he tell you? No, I've known him since drama camp. He bangs everyone to compensate for his tiny thimble dick. I should have warned you. I'm sorry. Want to be partners? Yeah. Right now you seem nice, but you were the girl during the first episode not being that nice, right? You know, being really about me, myself and I. Professor Brinkerhop died the same way he taught. A hero. We will cover everything Brink would cover, but we'll also get into the intersection of superpowers and mental health, which was my dissertation. Oh, Marie. Sorry, I'm late. I the the class for... The top 10? We're letting Miss Moreau audit the junior year classes. What you and Andre do. That's obvious you belong here. You didn't do shit. You ran. I thought Luke to protect you and you're just taking all the credit? I'm taking whatever they give me. It ever occur to you why you're getting it and I'm not? Because my gender doesn't play in Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm not exactly the fan favorite down there either. I get that this is taking advantage of that moment. Jesus Christ! You rejected me from this school! Remember? I don't owe you or anyone anything. It's fair. It's really fair. Even if it's not right, it's fair. Frank didn't care what I looked like as long as I was the best. I mean, after Luke. But now that they're both gone, I go back to not existing. To get interviewed by Haley Miller, right? Yes. Just tell her the truth about what I did, that's all. They gave me a script. And? You're the one in charge, Marie. Come on. I miss her. Listen to you. Why are you doing? I don't know. You know what to do. Can't you search his room or stuff like that? Well, what do you think he did? He was starting past the bottom. What did I say? It's awful. Funny, likable, your branding is on point, a million followers. My YouTube channel can barely crap like 10k. Tell me that you're sincere, tell me that you're sincere, tell me that you're sincere. I was a sexy teen who fucks the dad and tries to kill the mom in four different BTV movies. Well, I thought you were really going to Ah. No way I'm typecasting you. I mean, unless you like getting small. No. No. Maybe I hate it. Her name on the back of your teeth. What do you mean? Just mm -hmm. to make up. So <laughs> That was obviously something, but I don't want to cry. I purge. Purge? Take it small. It's so symbolic, you know. It takes a while, it's, not... it's so bad for else. Fuck. Physical and mental sense. Well, fuck that. You're not getting small for this scene. Who do you want to play? Anyone. Queen Maeve. Aww. Queen Maeve. And she loves Maeve. Oh, that's it. You're definitely my favorite, Emma.